Orly. The Almighty is inextricably bound to the harmonic resonance of the sun's magnetic flux tubes. What? If the Vala blows up the Almighty, it'll take the sun with it. That sounds bad. I rejoined my fire team. Actually, I think we knew that, didn't we? I don't think we knew that if you destroyed the Almighty that the sun would blow up. The Almighty is trying to blow up the sun. We didn't get that from the information that we got from the, the CPU on Titan? I don't think so. Oh, okay. There you go, speaker. Love that line. Devotion. Sacrifice. I was born an outcast. Oh, we're gonna get a sap story from the from the guard from the gall. I was cast aside and left for dead. That's a good video game. Please don't take it off. I don't want to see. You're ugly enough. He's all, the old guy's pissy because the, sp the speaker's um, fucking with uh, Gaul. Manipulating him in some way, I bet. Well, like I said, if Gaul wants to be a guardian, he needs to die and wait a few centuries for his ghost to find him. <laughs> yeah. Alright, what's our next mission anyway? Bid you, bid you, bid you. I don't have a main mission. Oh, we're done with the main mission stuff. We only have one to do here. Well, I guess it makes sense. As far as the main stuff goes, you only do one on each pl on each planet. You have the one where you land and meet the meet the contact, which is usually uh, you know usually one of the vanguard. And then you go do a mission right away, and then you get your you have the mission that you go do on the map, and that's it. So the main storyline is to go back to Hawthorne at the farm. So I guess now we do the side quests. Oh, you want to do the side quest instead of waiting till the end? Well, there's nothing more we can do on IO. Or, yeah, IO. All well, it's just the adventures. After, uh, after Endgame, does stuff open up on the other planets? Uh, uh, yes. Well, we could finish off the main mission, the main story, and then go back to the other planets to finish all the side stuff. Alright, that's why you want to do it. That's fine with me. To the farm, then. 
the farm. Here we go. Bring along your favorite snack. It's going to be some more story time. destroy that weapon, we will ignite a chain reaction that could send our son into a supernova. Well, at least we have each other. Indeed. Oh look, Kane's holding his cock. Needs to be done. The traveler must be freed. I'm thinking the three of us and a big fat pile of explosives can get the job done. Look, I still have that Vex teleporter. It's got a limited range, so we'll have to get a little too close for comfort. Then we get inside the city walls for it to be effective. But without the light, an outright assault on the wall is doomed to fail. We could... There will be no coming back. It's worth it. How do we get in? You know, the city wall is kind of like this bar. Plenty of places to slip in unseen, so long as you know how. You sure you're not one of my hunters? <laughs> not really into capes. Clearly. Nice poncho. <laughs> you need to get your team into the city without raising any alarm. My people and I can help you do that. We also happen to be pretty good at shooting bad guys. Hawthorne, it's one thing for us to put our lives on the line, but this doesn't have to be your fight. You're not a... A guardian? You think you've cornered the market on sacrifice? You forget that we've had to survive without the light all our lives. Once upon a time, that big white ball in the sky was there for all of us. I think it's about time we return the favor, guardians or not. That's great speech and all, but let's not forget about the whole supernova and complete annihilation thing. If we can't destroy the Almighty, we'll have to disable its weapon. And that means getting a certain guardian on board. That's me! Uh, uh, and her. If it's a Cabal ship, you mean, there's a base nearby full of them. But it won't be easy sneaking in. Well, we're done sneaking. If there's one thing I've learned from Kate, it's the value of a grand entrance. This is great. Anyone want a hug? <laughs> no? No, it's... So what is that uh, uh, di uh, pyramid-shaped thing on Hawthorne's back? I didn't see that. She had her back when we met her fir the first time back in the EDZ. She put her, her weapon on top of it. Okay. <laughs> Fuck my ass! What just happened? Somebody scored. A, uh, somebody won the game of soccer. Yeah. Did the explosion scare you? Yes, it was loud in my ears. I wasn't expecting it. Christ, on the mountainside. Checking. Oh, I lost Nessa's token. Whenever you need me again. <laughs> I lost three items. I'll mosey up here and talk to Hawthorne like at the farm. Remember that cabal base around the way? One of Gaul's what have you got friends. now? Bloodguard, by the name of Thumos. We know he's got access to the Almighty. So you crash the base, steal Thumos's ship, use it to sneak aboard the Almighty, and shut it down before it can blow up our sun. Do me a favor. Put Thumos down while you're at it. When you give the signal, we move on the city. Take it back. Gotta say, I really didn't think you'd come back from your interplanetary jaunt. Much less with a vanguard by your side. Look at us. Red Legion doesn't have <clears throat> a chance. How about, sorry for doubting you. Sorry for thinking you weren't going to come back. Bitch. Alright, we have a new mission. It's to assault the Cabal base. We also have another new mission. Just run around like a blue shiny ball because I got Commander's Blessing on me. <laughs> But now we can talk to the uh, uh, the Vanguard people because they're now here on the farm. Because each of them have a mission for us. What are those missions? Find out right now. <laughs> yeah, me too. See, 
I volunteered to set up our patrol network, and I haven't done it yet. Because what if I screw it up, you know? It's so important. We use that network to run ops all over the system. Supply run, recon, you name it. So I'm thinking, what am I going to do? But here you are. So competent. So diligent. So ready to do things the right way. I guess what I'm trying to say is, save me from myself. We get patrols from Cade 6. We also get these scout reports. These are, uh, as you can say, last for four hours. They can they uh, allow you and your fire team to see uh, loot caches all over the planets that you choose from. Here's one for EDZ, Titan, Nessus, and Io. Ikora. Losing the light was devastating. We were careless. I was careless. I took my power for granted. Never again. Wherever you go, seek out experiences that truly challenge you. Force yourself to grow. Never be satisfied. If anything dares to come between you and the light, destroy it. Let every victory sharpen your mind and body. And show our enemy a guardian's wrath. I still want to push you off this damn platform. <laughs> And for my core, you get challenges. Basically, what challenges are is, as you go to different worlds, um, they'll give you challenges, which are basically sort of like just mini achievements to do. Things like uh, kill a certain number of enemies, and then maybe find a certain number of lost sectors, and you know, just just little mini things you can do. Those are challenges. You get a little extra points for that, some experience, and. Uh, um, You'll get like uh, reputation tokens that you can bring to Ikora strictly for for finishing those um, uh, those challenges, and then of course the one, the only, voiced by Lance Reddick, Zavala himself. Strikes! We hunt down priority targets, gather intelligence on our enemies. And undermine plots against humanity. I'm counting on you to show everyone, guardian and civilian alike, what courage really looks like. But this isn't a solo detail. You'll need a dependable fire team to back you up. And what is it that Cage says? Teamwork makes the dream work. Get out there. Make us proud. I love strikes in the first game in Destiny One. I would, I, you know, if he, I, even though I would just use them basically like time killers. If I was waiting for something to do to, to compile when I was recording or whatever, um, I would go into Destiny and I would just jump in the strike playlist and do nothing but strikes. I don't care if I did the same strike three times. I loved strikes. I loved strikes in the first game, and supposedly they're even better here. So, other than the inverted spire and a couple of strikes that we did earlier, which I don't, which, which she and I did a few days ago, which I don't remember much about them. <laughs> Other than the inverted spire strike we did in the beta, you know, these are going to be all new to us. So hopefully we might show those off all as blind as well. And I just fell right off the fuck off the side. Okay. <laughs> uh, I got something over at. Uh, what's her name? Oh, right, I have uh, three of these. Wow. Oh, nice. I got a ship. I wonder what uh, Tyra's going to be used for in later gameplay. Come see me again, Mm-hmm. All right, that's not any. That's not better. Chance to obtain additional faction consumables in the crucible. I don't care about the crucible. Goodbye. Alright, that's worth an upgrade. So I know it's a lot to take in, What I really like is the fact that when you upgrade uh, your gear, 
uh, in Destiny One, when you uh, when you infuse gear, uh, you would infuse it would only go, it would infuse your your current gear up to the level of the gear. For example, like you saw the one I had there just now was two sixteen on the gauntlet on the gauntlets that I was uh, that I had got the blue gauntlets. Whereas the gauntlets I have right now were only two fourteen. In Destiny One, if, you, if I were to infuse those two sixteens into the two fourteens, it would only make my uh, gear two sixteen. It would just max it out to whatever it was. This time, it actually pushes it beyond that level. Uh, let's see, two fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. It gave me seven. Po- it gave me a seven-point boost, even though the uh, gauntlets were only two points higher than what I currently had. So. That's a that's a really cool thing. What they do is they they even though when you infuse better gear, it doesn't always make it whatever you just infused it to. It gives you a little bit more, which is really really nice. We still haven't reached rank rank one in our clan. Jesus. I know it's a lot to take in, darling. Well, score is just bouncing around, just chit chatting. I'm going around scanning crap, waiting for him to say, "Let's go." Oh, God, no, I'm not using that color design. Ew, ew, ew. Red and green. Ew, no. That's nasty. PG. You have a problem. Ooh, that looks pretty good. For, for, with that blue, black and gold, that looks pretty cool. Mm, I've got two of them left. I'll go with that. I can probably get more later from... Uh, what's her name? All right. Okay. I'm done here, are you? Yeah, I was just looking for something that's apparently hidden over here. You can take us out whenever you're ready. Okay. I'm just searching around trying to figure out what it is. Uh, we need to do what? We Our main mission is to reach level 15 and complete the mission Payback in the EDZ. So, Earth. You see all the, all the uh, adventures popping up now on Earth. <laughs> and the Red War Payback will be starting from the Gulch. Here we go. What do you think of my new uh, ride? He has the bug. Why does he have a bug? Actually, I, on my warlock, I got the smaller bug. The where the engines aren't so wide, aren't so long on the end. I just got the smaller version. <laughs> he has a bug. Titans don't drive bugs. I think it just looks like I've got big shoulders. Kind of matches the shoulders that I've got on my fucking gear right now. <laughs> the only thing I'm missing is giant horns coming off the side of my uh, ship. Like those spikes on the side of that car Don't that we saw the other day. <laughs> give Bungie ideas. <laughs> the growl of an approaching interceptor. An interceptor is passing through. Oh, wait, this is the one where we actually have to go all the way around. Yeah, because I'm fucking lost. <laughs> I forgot about this. Ah, fuck it. Ride. Wee. Now, you see, if you pull up your, uh, your, the director, or your, you push your back button or whatever, you see the challenges on the right-hand side of the screen. Those are the challenges that, uh, that you can do uh, for uh, Ikora. Well, I'm here, but I can't touch the damn thing because I'm not leader. I don't just want to hear him bitch and whine and moan and complain. Well, maybe you should be faster. Usually you sound too fast. I make no comment. What? I make no comment. 